Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Jeffree Star has recently come under fire for a stream of recent and old tweets where he contradicted himself whilst dragging James Charles. So as we all know, James has come under fire recently after his ex-bestie made a video exposing him for being a fake friend, changing due to fame and money, and allegedly preying on straight men. Jeffree Star had tweeted about James saying this, There's a reason that Nathan banned James Charles from ever coming over to our home again. There's a reason why I haven't seen him at Glam Life Guru's birthday in February. He is a danger to society. Everything Tati said is 100% true. James said brother had tweeted, why does everyone act so tough over the internet? To which Jeffree Star responded, why is your brother a predator? Why'd you really move back to NYC? Exactly, shut the fuck up. Now someone had dragged up Jeffree's old tweets that had said this, I've had so many straight boys naked that I think I deserve a lifetime achievement award. I wonder who's down to fuck tonight. Straight boys, where you at? Now, Jeffree Star recently posted this to his Snapchat, clearing up rumours, speculations, his past tweets, and addressing the James Charles drama. Everybody, sorry, I've been quiet. I've been on set all day. Um, day two, 12 hour days. I cannot wait for you guys to see what this is all about, but I gotta get back to it. I love you all so much. Mwah. Hello everybody, good morning, how is everyone doing? Okay, so, a lot's happened this week. I have been on set for a few days, um, doing something really major and magical. It took 24 hours total to do everything. Um, so, I haven't really been on my phone, I haven't really been on social media, and I'm just catching up on everything, and bitch, I have a few things to say. Um, it's been a very crazy week in the beauty community with some of my friends and everything that's going on so i just want to touch on a few things really quickly if you're someone that watches me and likes makeup and my dogs skip through all of these until you see a picture of a handbag or something cute um but if you are aware of everything that's going on this week in the beauty community um then let's have a chat all right so all week i've been getting a lot of questions about a tweet that i sent out now after my friend Tati Westbrook uploaded her video about James Charles, um, a lot of people had opinions. A lot of people that had been feeling some type of way for a while um, were finally starting to speak out and say things. And I sent out a very um, big tweet that caused a lot of reactions. So I want to address that because you guys deserve an answer um, and I want to touch on a few things. Now, I stand by everything I said. I want to start off by saying that. But I do regret, and I don't say that often, but I do regret sending out that tweet. Things on my end could have been handled behind closed doors, 100%. Um, I was very hot-headed. I had seen a lot of disturbing things behind the scenes, my man. And Nathan was really grossed out by a lot of behavior that he saw. He took a trip with me and James and it went really bad. Um, and things were never the same after that. And I am in love with my man. Me and Nathan, we are like this and I will always respect his opinion. So me and James started to get distant and things got really weird. But that doesn't mean I don't love and care about someone. Because I said one sentence does not erase the history we have. It doesn't mean that I don't care about someone. Um, and I want to get a little deep for a second because guess what? I, this person right here, has had a history of horrible, dumb fucking mistakes. So there is no way that I'm saying, James, bye. No, that's not it. He needs to learn, he needs to grow, and he needs better people around him. Because the circle that's there, they're all yes men and they're not helping him. Um, I think that everyone deserves second chances. And I think that sometimes people deserve third and fourth chances. He's young, of course, he needs to grow. There's no, well he should. No, bitch, he needs to grow. And he will learn from this experience 100%. Um, me, I have learned from all my past mistakes and I continue to apologize for dumb, horrible shit that I said a long time ago. I will apologize for those things really until the day I die. Um, so this is just me letting you guys know my thoughts. There's no ill will. Um, I know James is very angry. I fully get it. I just want to say that I hope he takes some time off and actually mentally heals and 
and just gets in a better place because there's a lot going on and when you have a massive audience and you have big responsibilities, you have to be careful with that power. All right, now I've been on Twitter this morning. I wanna address one more thing because people, <sighs> listen, I've had a crazy career, y'all. 15 years in the game, I'm an OG. I come from a crazy, crazy past. Um, and I've also addressed so many things. But whenever a situation happens and I do comment or say something, um, which half the time, I need to keep my fucking mouth shut. But we're all human beings with feelings and emotions and we are allowed to um, have those. But I'm gonna say this one time only. Do not compare my situation to anyone else's ever, okay? I am in a long-term amazing relationship with Nathan and a lot of people may not understand that. He only was with women before me. I know that may be a crazy concept, but don't compare my situation to someone else's ever. Um, I have talked about my past, I've talked about my I've talked about my sexuality at length, um, and a lot of people may forget that. Rewind. There is a very big video on my channel called The Truth About My Relationship, and I dive in deep about sexuality, straight men, Nathan, and our entire history. So if anyone wants to try me, go replay that, please. Thank you. Um, and also, when me and Shane filmed our first series last summer, we dove fully into that stuff. Um, and even James was in the room for some of it on camera. So if anyone wants to misconstrue things, don't try me. Um, and also people are like, Jeffrey, there's there's a lot of tweets being deleted. Girl, if people try to redrag up shit about you every six months, you'd want them deleted too. There's already screenshots. I'm not hiding anything. I'm just tired of hearing about that subject. So um, you can take a four second video clip and a bunch of old tweets and try to spin a narrative. <sighs> not today, baby. Listen, I never knew that I was gonna find my soulmate and the person that I was gonna fall in love with, ever. Um, I spent a lot of my time in the whole tw 20s single, um, alone, and just very like <sighs> dark times. Um, but the place that I am in right now is so healthy and great and everything is good. So I will never let strangers try to dictate my feelings or make me out to be someone that I'm not. Girl. Not today. If you didn't already know, Tati had also exposed Gabriel Zamora in her video. Gabriel had received backlash from a Snapchat rant response he had made to Tati's video, which we covered in our prior video that I will leave linked down below. Since then, he took to Twitter and said this. Regardless of how you feel, I hope y'all can see how toxic this cancel culture has evolved to. It's something I've witnessed mess up one's mind and one's heart. Now, Nikita Dragon attempted to capitalize on James Charles's drama by posting a video with the title What Really Happened, where she exposed nothing about James's drama and instead promoted her Dragon Beauty line. A few days prior, she had actually exposed James Charles's sugar bear hair drama at Coachella by leaking text messages between James and herself. Heard a situation needed some clarification. My friend was in an emergency and texted me in the moment. Unfortunately, since Dragon Beauty used all of our marketing marketing budget on the fantasy, I connected him with Sugar Bear. Nothing shady. James has said, Babe, can you do me a favour and text your Sugar Bear person and ask if they have any extra artist passes for this weekend and that off story? I'm in VIP and I'm getting attacked. Need help. Lol. Yeah, of course. Two sex. Thank you so much. They said yes, can I give them your number? Oh my god, yes, thank you so much, oh my fucking god. Then Nikita had sent this. First of all, hi, I miss you guys the most ever. Hi, we miss you more, come to stagecoach. Second of all, I got the longest, craziest text from James begging me to ask if you guys could get him an artist pass because he's being attacked, lol. We miss you boo, not the same without you. James Charles, yes, give him my number. Now, if we refer back to the video Tati filmed about James, she said that he potentially made up a story 
about himself needing security at Coachella, so promoted Sugar Bear here as they provided him with security. And lastly, Tati being the incredible person she is made another video telling people to stop sending hate at James Charles's way. She apologised for the fact that James was getting hate, wished him well and said that she never intended to gain this amount of subscribers. What are your thoughts on all this? Let me know in the comments down below. That's all for this investigation, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, my social media will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in our next investigation. Thank <laughs> you.